Screw it. Flying press and then instruct. Let's do it. Screw it. Screw it. Flying press. We missed. You're kidding. We missed the flying press. The one I needed to land, I missed. What's going on, guys? Cisco here, back with some more VGC Double Battles. And today, we've got a tanky yet powerful Arbeliva team featuring Unburdened Halucha. But before all that, I just wanted to announce that I have created a community Discord for you guys to join. Now, the point of the Discord is for us to continue to grow as a community and a way for you guys to interact with each other and with me a little more. Now, one new thing that I have there that's a little unique is that I have a channel where you guys can submit your teams that you guys would like me to look over, edit, review, you know, all those things just to have conversation, suggestion with you guys. Now, obviously, I'm not the greatest VGC player out there or the best team builder, but I do know a thing or two, and I think you guys have appreciated and enjoyed the creativity that I have when it comes to team building. So if you guys have some teams that you want me to look over or if that's something that you're interested in, check the description down below, join the Discord. I'm just starting out, so we'll see about expanding it and making a better space. But for now, we have a little short Discord right there. Nice and simple, just for you guys to just to grow a community and for us to interact a little bit more. But now, back to Pokemon. We've got a weakness policy Arbolivo today. So after the Arbolivo that almost ruined me a couple videos ago, I decided to make myself an insane Arbolivo. It's got the weakness policy at its item, and it's rocking Hyper Voice, Giga Drain, Protect, and Terrain Pulse. Now, Terrain Pulse is a base 50 normal type move, but if a Terrain is out, it becomes a is double to 100 and becomes the type of the terrain. So since Seed Sower on our Believer activates Grassy Terrain whenever it is hit, we will easily have a 100 base damage Grass type move on our Believer. We also have Giga Drain over Earth Power just as a form of more HP recovery. I know Earth Power is more of a, a better uh, coverage move, but we do have the Earth Luna to help cover for those weaknesses on our Believer like Poison and Fire. Okay, so weakness policy. We have two methods of activating it. You turn on Incineroar and flip turn on Primarina when we terrestrialize our Arboliva into fire. Both of these moves will allow us to set up terrain and pivot into a different Pokemon, which will most of the time be either Grassy Seed Halucha or Symbiosis Oranguru. So the point of Oranguru here is that it has Symbiosis and Leftover. So whenever it is standing next to an ally with no item, it gives the item to our ally. So either Arboliva or Halucha will be receiving the leftovers uh, from the Oranguru to help further HP recovery. Now, this thing is also here to set up Trick Room for our side since we have a pretty slow team besides the Halucha. So, Oranguru with the Trick Room will allow us to um, flip the dimensions in speed. Now, the other side is going to be the Unburdened Halucha with Grassy Seed. In Grassy Terrain, the Grassy Seed will activate, give Halucha a plus one in defense, and double its speed due to Unburden, and double the power of Acrobatics. Realistically, it's our only fast Pokemon in the squad, but most of the site is tanky enough to take some shots and get some damage off, so I'm not really too worried about speed control in terms of being faster than the opposing side. And then you got the Earth Luna just to help cover for some of our weaknesses on our Believer and Halucha, and just help us close some of these games out since I think we might need it. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're returning and you've not joined the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with this weakness policy, our believer, and unburdened Halucha team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got a half sun team, half trick room team, I guess. Not really. I think the fur graph is just there to stop trick room. Yeah. E speed Dragonite. And you got the gambit there. Okay, so. Um, we could go for. Hmm. We could go for the intimidate here. But at the same time, not really. I feel like I do like Incineroar though, because under the sun we'll be able to do a good amount of damage here. Hmm. Prim is just a little risky here. Because Prim can just get absolutely obliterated here. But I'm going to go into Incineroar and I'm going to go into this guy. I'm scared of the King Gambit um, Defiant boost, but I think we'll be fine. And then I'll go into Oranguru here. I think I like this. I mean, Ursa Luna doesn't look too bad either. Nah, we'll just bring it these four. It's fine. We'll we'll look to get um the leftovers onto the onto the Arboliva. Yeah, it's fine. Should be fine. But this time we gotta look to we gotta get rid of the weakness policy. We have to activate that weakness policy. Don't be Gambit, please. 
It's the gambit. <laughs> it's the gambit. Oh, that's not great. So the gambit is going to be sitting at plus one. Kind of sucks. Um, could go for Flare Blitz. I might just go U-turn though. I'm going to go U-turn and then I'm going to go for... A little Terrain Pulse. Or do I Fake Out? I don't mind the Fake Out. Nah, let's just go U-turn. Let's go straight into the U-turn and then let's go Terrain Pulse into the... Let's go Hyper Voice. Let's see how much Hyper Voice is doing here. Beautiful. They're just protecting. So good thing we didn't protect. We didn't go for any fake outs either. They're just gonna go for Hyper Voice. Gonna do decent damage. Gonna activate Seed Sower. Sour. Seed Sower. Sour. Whatever it is. Gonna get Throat Spray activated. That's fine. And we're gonna U-turn out. On to the Art Believer. Do a ton of damage. Jesus Christ. But we're gonna activate the Weakness Policy. Give us a plus two in special attack, which is very needed. Already as it is, this thing has a pretty good special attack stat. So with a plus two, should be able to do some good damage. And it's bulky. Very, very bulky. I kind of want to just go into Halucha here. Screw the leftover symbiosis. I think going to Halucha just gives us so much speed advantage. And we can pressure the Gambit a lot. Because right now, what we can easily click is double protect. Click a double protect, see what the Gambit wants to go for. And we can get going from there. So Hyper Voice is going to fly through. Going to get blocked by the Gambit. And how much damage are we doing to Sylveon? That's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. Now we got a plus one in defense here. Blind Press just looks fantastic. So does... Just going into an acrobatics, but I'm just going to detect here. And do I terrifier Giga Drain? I don't mind it. Let's detect the uh, the Halucha. Play it slow. They're probably looking to get rid of the Halucha since Flying Press is quad super effective onto the Gambit. But we're going to protect, block the Hyper Voice, go for Giga Drain, and look hopefully to get rid of the Sylveon, and we're going to force Terra here. On the Gambit, probably. Yep. Into what? Flying? Going to be the Flying Terra. So they could have Terra Blast. So good Protect from our end there. Good Protect and good Terra. We're going to go Terra Fire, baby. We're going to resist any Hyper Voices, and we should resist a potential Iron Head or take Neutral from a Terra Blast. But hopefully they're not doubling down into our Arbaliva. I kind of doubt they double down to our believer, right? We're going to detect real quick. Play it nice and easy. Oh, and they go for Sucker Punch, baby. Let's go. Huge. And they're just going to go for Hyper Voice. Our believer is surviving that Hyper Voice. No problem whatsoever. I still did damage, but we survived, baby. Here comes Giga Drain. Ooh. No KO, you know. But good HP back. Definitely some good HP. Hmm. Now, I could just look to get rid of, um... Which I think I am going to do. I'm just going to go get rid of the Sylveon with Acrobatics. And rip a Hyper Voice across. Correct. Yeah, let's go for some damage. Sylveon's going to protect. That's fine. Gambit can't get rid of my, uh... Halucha here. At least I think. Gonna be Kowtow into Arbaliva. And Arbaliva goes down? That's kind of messed up. Should I go into Oranguru here? Yeah, let's go Oranguru. Let's go into the Oranguru. Um, when does symbiosis happen? 
Why, 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 do, why do I not have my... Um, do I double acrobatics? You know what? Uh, screw it. We'll go acrobatics into the Sylveon here and then we'll instruct. And go for another acrobatics. But why don't we have the leftovers on Halucha now? So Sylveon goes down. We should be able to outsee with the Oranguru and go for another instruct. Yep, beautiful. Instruct is going to come out here. Give me a crit, yo. Give me a crit and let me pick up the K on the Gambit here. Not even close. I'm going to kowtow. That KOs. I'm, I'm confused as to why Symbiosis didn't work there. Why, why did Symbiosis not work? Very confused. So... In this specific turn, I could go for a Sword Dance, allow myself to sweep with Halucha. Maybe Nine Tails. Sun is gonna come out here. I have a feeling they're just gonna protect. I have a feeling they protect Gambit. So let me go for a Sword Dance. Let me fake out the the Nine Tails. You gotta protect Gambit, right? You're scared. Don't protect him. Okay, you're done. That's fine. That's fine. Free Sword Dance, baby. Free Sword Dance with the Halucha right here. Fake out's gonna get blocked. That's fine. No problem. I don't mind that. And we're gonna Sword Dance up, baby. Let's go. Now we're sitting at plus two. Now, Acrobatics is going to do damage. Grassy Terrain is going to disappear. Doesn't really, didn't really do anything for us anymore. And let's just go Acrobatics right here. Acrobatics and then... Let's just knock off this thing's item. Come on, baby. Come on, Halucha. Huge KO right there with Acrobatics. Alright, that's one threat gone. Now, they could be going for Will-O-Wisp onto Halucha. Which kind of sucks. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Halucha can sweep here. It's going to be Venusaur. They wasted Terra already. They might be the fastest thing on the field here. So they might be able to put me to sleep. But I think I can win this game. If I go Acrobatics into Ninetales... Ooh, they might protect it. No, I'll go Acrobatics into Ninetales... And I'm just going to keep clicking Fake Out until I break the Encore. Fake Out's not going to go through. Show me no Protect. Beautiful. All right, Acrobatics comes out onto Ninetales. Your Focus Ash? Oh, no. That's... that's a, Oh, and you get Poison? I think it's going to be Life Orb. He would miss on the... Oh, if you would have missed on Halucha, we would have we won this game. Okay. This is looking to be a little tough. Oh, my last turn of Encore. Oh, but they can just continuously Encore me now. Let's see if they if they continuously Encore me. Earth Power is going to come through. Going to do respectable damage. That's going to be GG's. Wow. Solar Beam. That Encore play was, was was pretty good. Hopefully they ignore the Encore ending there. But they probably won't. They probably just click Encore again. Oh no, they don't. Earthfire comes through, picks up the KO and Zero anyways, and that's going to be GG's. We almost had it there. We almost had it. All right, we got an interesting team with the Dragapult, Hitmonlee, Scovillain, Torkoal, Furgraf, and Zorark. Ah, I don't love the Illusion Zorark there. Um, I might just lead into Arbeliva and Cinderor here. Go Oranguru. And maybe close things out with Ursaluna. 
Ursula could help us out big time here. Yeah, I like it. Let's go with Ursula. We'll leave Halucha behind here. So we're looking to get the U-turn off onto the Arbeliva. Activate the weakness policy. Activate Seed Sower. Swap into Ranguru and Symbiosis the Leftovers. That's the plan. Scovillain and Dragapult. Okay. It's fine. This thing could be going to a fire type move. That could also be Zorark. Let's terrain pulse it. That could be Zorark. Let's terrain pulse it and then it's gonna be resisted, I know that, but that could very well be Zorark. I could see it being Zorark. They're gonna terrasize here. Who are you terrasizing? Gonna be the dragon pole into what? Into straight flying. Oh, you're going for Terra Blast. Why do you have Terra Blast? Oh no, he's going Phantom Force. Okay, that's fine. I thought for a second they had like flying Terra Terra Blast. Oh. Okay. Spicy extract. Gonna get an attack boost. Wow, that's clever. That is clever. But Seed Sower is gonna come out here. Gonna activate the weakness policy. And we can swap into Ranguru. cool safe we got the the first part of the plan is in action hopefully the orangaroo does symbiosis the leftovers here they're better man come on orangaroo please symbiosis the leftovers it's still the same turn it doesn't work like that oh that's so whack that is so whack that is so whack. Uh, let's go for protect. Try to get Chirp him off. I really thought it would work like that. That's not, that's, that's kind of whack. They have acrobatics. So one, one potential lead could be going Oranguru and Arbeliva. Allowing them to activate the weakness policy and then having symbiosis pass over the leftovers. But besides that, not looking too great. But now what we can go for is a nice healthy hyper voice. Terra hyper voice? Yeah, because just in case they survive. So yeah, let's terrorize into fire. Go for the nice little hyper voice. And we're just gonna shrug that thing again. Instructed to do it again. Now, hopefully, this thing isn't Zorak. But no, if it, if it did spicy attract, it's not. Is that Zorak? <laughs> it's not Zorak. Okay, I'm so paranoid. I'm paranoid that it's Zorak. But we're gonna go into the fire terror just to, just for a just in case if we don't KO the dragon pole here. But out comes the hyper voice. Does a ton of damage. Instruct is gonna come back, allow this thing to go for another hyper voice and pick up the KO on dragon pole, baby. Let's go, huge. So we didn't get the symbiosis to pass on over the leftovers, but we did get Olive Garden to do some damage here. Here comes another Hyper Voice, Idios, Dragapult. That's two mods gone, two more to go. Can we sweep with our Believer here? I think we can. Fear my Olive Tree. Arangu is going to enjoy the leftovers that he did not want to pass on. <laughs> Stingy little monkey. And who's your final month? We got Trick'em up. We're chilling. Not a big worry here. Torkoal. That's a little bit of a worry. And him on Lee. Ooh. That is a little scary, you know? But not scary enough for our belief. Huh.
These should be fine. Oh, I forgot they have fake out. Cool. Cool. I forgot about the fake out on that thing. But it's fine. Now we go for our own fake out. Come back in with Incineroar. Go for our own fake out. And should be able to take out the Torkoal. What I'm actually going to go for here is a fake out into the Torkoal and Giga Drain into the Hitmon Lee and get as much HP back as possible. So we can survive another eruption. Seems like a good plan for me. If you protect Torkoal, that's fine. I don't care. And they don't. We pick up the Torkoal. No problem. They're going to wide guard. Too bad, baby. We're going for a Giga Drain onto the Hitmon Lee. Going to take all that HP back. Clever, though. Clever, clever, clever. Ooh, Giga Drain one hitting. Get a critical hit. We get a critical hit. But it is plus two on the terrain. So I don't know. I don't know. But Hitmon Lee is going to go down. Now it becomes a 3v1. And this should be GG's. We easily survive an eruption now. We go for a heal pulse, and this should be bye bye Torkoal. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. Yep, let's go Hyper Voice, and let's go into a knockoff. And that should be GG's. Here comes eruption. We should survive if, we, if they don't get a crit. Beautiful, baby. Olive Garden eating up some shots and returning with some powerful hits. Here comes Hyper Voice, plus two, single targeted, one shotting the Torkoal. Jesus Christ. GG's. We got a snow team with Snow Cloak Glaceon. Oh, and that bear looks pretty scary too. I don't really enjoy that bear. Um I think I have to go Arbelieva here and Primarina. Just kind of makes more sense. Terrasizing into fire to resist all the ice type moves and go for a flip turn. I think that makes more sense here. Um, do we want Trickrum up here? Is Trickrum something that we want? Yes, no, maybe so. Mm. Maybe no. I'm going to go in, into Halucha. And close off Ursaluna, close off Ranguru. I think closing off a Ranguru. Yeah, let's go Ranguru. I do like the Halucha here. It can do really good damage onto a lot of these Pokemon. Flying Press is super effective onto three Pokemon. Neutral onto everybody. No. Neutral onto Ninetales and Furograph. Resisted by the Primarina. But we could just hit that thing with our Acrobatics. So we gotta look for a way to get Swords Dance off. Now, getting Swords Dance off on this team is it's a little hard because there's no redirection. There's no the only thing that can really help us get a Swords Dance off is gonna be the fake out from Incineroar, which we did not bring to this game. So it's gonna be kind of tough. But they got no fake out on their side. They do have the Aurora Bell, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, it should be fine. It should be fine. So what I'm going to go for here is I'm going to go for a Terrifier Giga Drain plus a Flip Turn. It's going to be these two little boogers. These two little boogers. Okay, cool. Snow Warning's going to come out here. Terrifier, Giga Drain, plus Flip Turn. Nice and simple. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, They should be able to go first before um, Primarina. Meaning that I don't have to... I can freely swap in my Hall Lucha here and not take any damage. I think. I think. But we'll see. We'll see right now. But I actually might not swap on my... I might not swap in the... Halucha. I might go with a Ranguru. Get Trickum set up. They do have a pretty... Not speedy, but... If I bring in the Halucha, I'm threatened by Ice-type moves and Fairy-type moves, so... Kind of kind of need to get it out. They should go for Blizzard. That's fine. Beautiful. Huge Fire Tower right there. Seed Tower is going to come out immediately. Which is actually very lovely. Double Blizzard. That did a little more damage. And flip turn is going to do even more damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I really need to land this Giga Drain now. But we're going to activate the weakness policy on the Arbeliva. Plus two special attack. Stab in the grassy terrain. Come on. 
please. All right, so now we're actually safe to swap into anyone here. But do we want to go into Halucha? Hmm. I could detect with the Halucha. Yeah, let's go Halucha. Let's detect this turn. I don't want to set up Trickum yet. I don't want to set up Trickum yet. Grassy Seed is going to activate. Give us a plus one of defense. Not really important in this scenario. And Giga Drink's going to connect and do a ton of damage onto the Glaceon, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's huge. Look at that HP recovery. Oh, that's beautiful. So now all I have to go for is a nice little... They could go Terra Blast. But at that point, do you bother terrestrializing? Do you bother terrestrializing your... Your Glacial. So there's two plays here. I can go with Terra uh, Terrain Pulse into... Into the little... Mm. I'm gonna go train pulse. I'm gonna go acrobatics. Let's play it risky. I know snow cloak is out, but I believe in my Halucha, baby. Bye bye, Glacian. Let's go. Huge. Bye bye, Glacian. How much is Blizzard doing here, realistically? Or are they just getting up a roar veil? Let's go, baby. Free, no damage at whatsoever. Let's go. Terrain, uh, terrain pulse should be able to do some good damage here. Oh, baby, behind an aurora veil? Our Believer! And we're back to full HP. We went from 60 HP to 163 in two turns. That's huge. Now it's going to be the Ferrigraph. Listen, buddy. I'm just going to go for another Terrain Pulse into you. And I'm going to go Acrobatics. I kind of want to go for Source Dance, but I, I just don't think it's the right play. I just go Acrobatics into this guy right here, and that's it. Bye bye, Night Tails. Look at this combo right here. Acrobatics sweeping up the little bit of HP that our believer can't finish up. Halucha got it. And then my little Olive Garden is doing an insane amount of damage here. Oh my goodness, baby. Uh, they're going to eat up the Sitch Berry. Looks like they're going for Trick Room, which could be kind of tough. That means they might have the. They might have the bear in the back. The scary bear. That's fine. I'm just gonna swap out my Halucha here. It's gonna be the Blood Wound or Saluna. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna protect here. There's no reason. There's no reason to protect. I think. I think I am safe enough to a point where I can just go for a. No, let's protect. No, let's protect. We're slower. But I just want to see what they go for. Let's protect. And let's just swap into the Orangaroo here. Let's play nice and slow. I'm not going to reset Trick Room. I'm just going to go for a Prison, maybe. Our Believer should be slower. Our Believer is very slow. And they're going to Tarras Slice. That's just not great. I don't love that. Yeah, our Believer is 39 speed. Ursa Luna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal Terra. Uh, the Blood Wound is base 52, so we are definitely slower. Unless they're min speed, but I doubt they're min speed. So we're just going to protect with the Art Believer just to scout out what they're going for. They're going to go for Psychic Noise. Ooh, very good play there. Very good play. Avoid HP recovery. Psychic Noise has been making more of, a, of an appearance in Regulation H. I've seen Psychic Noise a lot more on Furographs than ever before. Right. Decent damage, not bad. Not bad. And it's not Throat Spray nor Life Orb. So that's actually pretty nice. Do I go for Hyper Voice? Or do I go Terrain, terrain Pulse? I can just go Hyper Voice. I think Hyper Voice finishes off this game. Hyper Voice and Destruct. Let's go, baby. Let's get this game done. I know our Believer can soak. Our Believer is tanky. Tanky, tanky, tanky. We're sitting on plus two special attacks, so we can do a ton of damage back as well. Pretty much full HP. I think we are full HP, actually, so I think we should be fine. The only thing we might die out to is a Blood Moon, but even then, I don't think so. Okay, so you see, Hopping Head Blood Moon, I will die out to that. 
Oh, that's scary. Viper voice does come out first. We do pretty decent damage. Oh, it's gonna be Blood Moon. We don't survive that. Or believe me, if you survive this, I'm impressed. But you don't. Well then. I seem to be in a little bit of a pickle here. Snow's gonna stop. They do have a roar villa, but I did forget about that. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough, this is tough, this is tough. Aranguru is nice and healthy, though. All they're going to be going for here is... Helping Hand Hyper Voice. Let me just come to Prim. That's all. They can't go for Blood Moon. They can't. Do I reset to trick him, though? No, I kind of value more the Hyper Voice Instruct. And I think Prim survives, even though it was Helping Hand. Come on. Come on. There's no point in reversing the trick room. They're just going to go help me hand Hyper Voice. And I think we're able to survive that. So, oh, they double. They double. Come on, I need you to outspeed for Marina. Please, for Marina. You don't outspeed. I just lost the game. Seriously, I don't outspeed there? That's kind of crazy. Overall, overall we're off. How many more turns of trick? I think this should be last turn of trick. I think we're still fine. I think we're still fine. I want to say we're fine. Last turn of trick, right? Yeah, last turn of trick. So we don't protect you. Detect and we protect. All right, cool. Easy, simple. All right, let's focus up. Let's focus up. I don't want to lose this last turn. Um. Blood Moon's going to get blocked. So I think I'm going to go Flying Press. Flying Press is 95 accuracy, though. Kind of scary. I know my Ranguru outspeeds both these guys because we we're going after them. What's the accuracy on this thing? 95. 100 damage, though. But this is the 110. The only thing is that's super effective onto this guy. So that's, that's the only reason I want to go for Flying Press. But... Should we go Flying Press? Screw it. Let's go Flying Press. It's our, it's our best shot. But even then, I don't think Flying Press even picks up the KO here. But it's just going to do most damage, right? Screw it. Flying press and then instruct. Let's do it. Screw it. Screw it. Flying press. We missed. You're kidding. We missed the flying press. The one I needed to land, I missed. I mean, we still get rid of this thing, but... They just go for Hyper Voice. Can we survive? Come on. Please. Oh, let's go. We survive. That's huge. Oh, my God. Two Flying Press does it. Two Flying Press should do it. Come on, Halucha. I need you now. You have Vacuum Wave. That is ridiculous. That's what you call BS. This game has been... Wow. Wow. That, that's, that's just BS. That's BS, yo. I can't believe it. 
that's frustrating all right we got a battle against emma and it's gonna be a rain team honestly i'm very very disappointed with my last game that is just something that i cannot believe like wow oh yeah yeah um if they go pelipper i mean it could be kind of tough Yo, I'm just, I'm just honestly pissed after this game. After that game. <clears throat> Arbeliva and Primarina doesn't look too strong. Neither does Incinera Arbeliva. For being honest. Um, What could they lead, though? Do they lead the Pelipper? They could lead Pelipper. We're going to Halucha. And then we'll come into Ursaluna. Wow. Okay, I mean, you guys are going to yell at me that I should have gone for acrobatics instead of flying press. But I thought flying press was just... It was it should have been fine. 5% accuracy to miss. Like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Acrobatics would have KO'd the... Photograph, I get it, and then like a little bit of chip onto the Ursaluna. But regardless, like you can't blame me for going fly, uh, flying press. I shouldn't be missing 95 accuracy moves. That is ridiculous. I had that game in the bag. I don't want to hear it. Ursaluna Goldengo. Um. Terrified Giga Drain plus Flip Turn. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. God. That is insane. Oh, uh, now I need to figure out a way of getting rid of this Goldengo. It's going to have to be with the Earth Luna. It really depends what this... If this Goldengo goes for Make It Rain, we're okay. But if they go for... Anything other than a Make It Rain, I'm in trouble. They could be going for Blood Moon as well. Also, I can't believe... Helping had Blood Moon, we didn't survive that. Like I thought we I thought we had a shot with um Arbeliva. But let's just focus up on this game. We're gonna terrasize our Arbeliva, do the same play, go into fire. Go for the nice little flip turn. Activate weakness policy. And they're gonna terrasize as well. If I see terrestrialization on the bear, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my god. They're going for a Blood Moon onto someone. Someone is getting hit with a Blood Moon, and I have a feeling it's my Olive Tree. They go for Make It Rain. This is a ton of damage. It just does ridiculous damage. Alright, Primarina outspeeds. We go Flip Turn. If they go Hyper Voice, we survive. But now who do I swap? I think, I mean, it has to be our Saluna. It has to be our Saluna. Oh, we actually have speed. Giga Drink does a ton of damage. All right, lovely. That's a slow bear. That is one slow bear. And she's gonna be hyper voice. Alright, lovely. Beautiful. Jesus Christ. Um. I shouldn't be seeing a swap, maybe. Should we protect here and just go for a headlong rush into this guy? I mean, if we're outspeeding the Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Ursa Luna with, with my Arbeliva, yeah, Ursa Luna should be able to outspeed too. So we're both going to be faster here. I could just go Giga Drain into that slot. The Goldengo is minus one. And strip a headlong rush into that thing. Yeah, I think it's safe play. 
Giga Drain, and Headlong Rush. I think it's a safe play. I think we should survive that Make Your Rain here. Now, they could be swapping into Pelipper into the Gold Dango slot. But if they do, I mean, it's fine. We we pick up the K on Ursaluna. They're going to withdraw the Ursaluna, actually. Okay. It's a Sinistro. That's fine. Another Make Your Rain. We should both be able to survive this. Ooh, Ursaluna surviving on 2 HP, baby. Huge. Headlong Rush is going to connect onto the Gold Dango. Bye bye, Gold Dango. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. And we're going to get a little bit of damage off with um, Giga Drain here. Just a tiny bit. Never mind. That's a good tiny bit. That's fantastic. So, this is what I'm saying with this team. Like, we're bulky enough that we can ignore the speed tiers. You know what I mean? Like, I know they're going to outspeed me there with uh, Gold Dango, but I had a feeling we were going to survive any shot. At 2 HP, I don't know, but we survived. Um, now we just protect and go for an attacking move with our Believer again. Gonna be the Pelipper. Well, let's just say bye bye to Pelipper. Ooh, they could go for Rage Powder here. Rage Powder could be a shout. Hmm. They could be going for Weather Ball. Let's just go Giga Drain. Let's protect. Yeah, let's go for that. They could be going for the uh, Giga Drain. I mean, Rage Powder plus Weather Ball. That could make sense. Or maybe they just swap back into Ursaluna here. I don't know. But we definitely outspeed the Ursaluna. That thing is on low HP where I'm not really I'm not really worried about it. There's the Weather Ball. Do we survive this? Come on. Really? Really? We don't survive that? That's pretty pretty surprising if you ask me. Machigacha is going to get blocked. Um, they already burned Terra. Well, they have no spread move with Pelipper. So I go Halucha here. Go into an Acrobatics into the Sinistra. Pick up that KO, and then if they want to target down my Ursaluna with the Pelipper, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Because then I I can just pick up the KO with Facade here. So yeah, let's go Acrobatics into the Sinistra, and we go for a nice, easy Facade into the Pelipper. And if that thing is Focus Ash, it'll survive with Focus Ash. It's no problem. But we could be receiving a Hurricane to the face with Halucha. <laughs> That's surprising. We didn't survive that weather ball. It is rain boosted. So, kind of makes sense. 100 base damage. It's a strong move. But I think we should be fine here. Acrobatics connects onto the Sinistra. Bye bye, Sinistra. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. Who is the Pelipper targeting here? Because to be honest, if you're targeting my Ursaluna, no, we go hurricane to that guy. Do we survive? No. I'm a little scared. Facade, don't be Focus Ash, please. Of course you're Focus Ash. Um, we need to outspeed here. This is not good. We need to outspeed bad. Oh, we're only at 64 HP. Um... Okay, I double attack here. Double. If they have what we call wide guard, I'm getting rid of this game. But going for double spread moves means that Pelipper can only target one person. So it's going to either get rid of my Ursaluna or my Primarina with Hurricane. That means, and both of these guys outspeed the Ursaluna, meaning we should be able to pick up a double KO with a double hitting move. I'm doing it. I don't know. My luck has been horrible. I'm thinking this thoroughly. And we're still losing games. I don't get it. If you if you show me wide guard right now, if you show me wide guard, I am throwing my controllers through the screen. No, hurricane. Alright, it's fine. 
for Marina. Nice, that's fine. All we need to do is double connect Rock Slide right here, baby. Come on, Ursa Luna, please. We double connect, beautiful. We pick up the double KO. Let's go, baby. Thought that through. That's going to be GG's. This should be three and three so far. Screw that second game. I'm still pissed about it. Let's go, Ursa Luna. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our weakness policy, our Believa, and unburdened Halucha team is complete. And our Believa was able to take some shots like no one's business and do an insane amount of damage. That game that we lost where um, Halucha missed a flying press, our Believa was doing an insane amount of damage. That combo of our Believa going for Giga Drain doing a ton of damage, and then Halucha the following turn finishing them off with acrobatics was so dope. Unfortunately, we couldn't win that game. We came super close, came down to luck at the end. Missing that 95% accurate flying press really hurt the soul on us. But hey, the only thing that really kind of failed on this team was the symbiosis. I kind of misunderstood it. I thought that no matter whenever Oranguru is next to our Believer and it doesn't have an item, it will be taking the item from it. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. It's got to be the Oranguru has got to be next to our Believer when the weakness policy gets activated. So we'd have to sit there, let the opposing side activate weakness policy, and then Oranguru would symbiosis the leftovers onto the r believer but it's fine it's fine at the end of the day the team worked out really well i think it was really strong um on r believer maybe instead of terrain pulse maybe just go for the earth power instead of terrain pulse i think earth power for coverage against steel types is really good and i think it's really necessary for our believer and can help us out a lot against gold dangles and our child on but regardless of that the team did fantastic and yeah i'm really happy with it but i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel and remember check out the discord the link is in the description join it's free to join let's have some fun let's create a nice and dope community